All right, hello, and welcome to the last part of my Retro City Rampage clone in the Unity tutorial. Today, we're basically just doing <coughs> like two things that I've not implemented yet, which needed doing, and it's the asset release, so it'll be up on itch.io. Yeah, whenever this goes up, because I need to make a... I think I'm making some kind of video one sent up, which I'll include with it. So yeah, let's get going. Uh, first thing... Uh, just gotta mute that, because I didn't turn off the thing. Uh, I got rid of the missions, because I wasn't quite happy with how of them, with them, and I couldn't fix a bug, so... The missions, the code is included if you want to like try and fix it yourself, but I'm not gonna like I'm gonna charge less than I was originally intending to because you know not your fault that I'm not that dedicated. Not de what's the word? Not wanting to fix them, but yeah. First things first is uh, that I've added is dying, so it wasn't there. So yeah, so I press R to restart. It reloads the level. Sorted. And the second thing is, I didn't add, uh, now, when you carjack someone, a uh, civilian gets kicked out. So, carjack him, he d appeared, I'm pointing at the screen even though you can't see it, but you get the point. So, if I go to this red car, and you see, civilian appears. <coughs> and yeah, they were the two features that were not in there. I'll quickly show you how I did them. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, that's the objective script. We don't need any more play health. Okay, so basically, uh, on the check if we're dead, we've got a disable component, so it basically stop the player moving. So basically, what we do is disable the input on the weapon controller. Easy enough. Then we rotate the camera not minus ninety degrees because it's a child game object of the uh, actual player object so it's basically to counteract that we're rot rotating the player 90 degrees in the other direction so it looks like the player's like lying down because they've fallen over because they've died and that just makes sure the camera stays the right way simple enough and for adding the players to the cars uh in, basically we've made some changes to the car spawner and the enter car script so basically what we're doing is is similar to the police spawning where when we're creating a car we basically just add, we spawn a civilian at the same point and set them to be wanting to go in the car. So, as you can see here, uh, I think this is where I did it. Oh no! Oh yeah, sorry, it's not in the car spawner, it's in this it. So basically, if, if there is already an NPC in this car that we're trying to kick out, it just kicks them out normally, but if there's not, so say when we've spawned a civilian car, it just runs around the map randomly, it'll literally just get a random NPC from the NPC controller and instantiate them at the car. And just sets them to unarmed, just so they don't have a weapon and stuff, because they're a civilian, they shouldn't have a gun. America. Sorry. I won't get political. Uh, yeah. And that's about it. Uh, I'll just go quickly over the features which you can download in the asset pack on itch.io, which will be a link in the description. So first off, we've got uh, guns. You can shoot people, you can go around, you can get money. Uh, yeah, you can drive, steal cars and whatnot. You can uh, go buy stuff. So I could buy, say, click a Thompson, and I've got another machine gun here. And now I've got more ammo, which is all good. Yeah, so sorry about that. I uh, had a minor crash of my Mac. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, you can press Shift and lock onto stuff. So I think, come on. Yeah, you can see, like, highlighted red. It'll just lock onto enemies. That works better with a gun but it automatically does it if you hit them. And you can collect coins and buy stuff, which I just did in the part. And there is also a wanted system, and yeah. Ooh, missing reference exception. Yes, oh well. Yeah, so, yep. So you see, coppers come. 
And I think I can beat him to death with this. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you got wanted system, you got traffic AI, so civilians can just roam around. It loads and deloads chunks just so you don't have everything spawning everywhere. Alright, so yeah, that was that is pretty much it. It's out on itch.io now, it should be. Uh, yeah. Uh, make sure you read the readme if you do buy it and like because there'll be a video and there'll be a video for setting stuff up and whatnot. If you have any questions, leave a comment or if it's like a technical thing, just email me. I think the email will be in the readme of the with that comes with the uh, asset pack and just for watching, if you've stuck with it, that's pretty good. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz and what else do I need to mention? Uh, yeah, I'll think up some new tutorials to do soon. Bye.